Hey guys, it's Jocelyn Bell back with another video. Um, so today's video, I'm basically gonna be explaining why I left YouTube, why I stopped making videos, and so on. Um, basically, when my dad passed away, I lost a lot of motivation, I lost hope, I lost my best friend, and for most people, that would make sense because you want time to like grief and get over like whatever you're feeling and you know griefing, they don't tell you grieving is going to take your entire life. But honestly, it's going to because you're going to have multiple losses with people in your life, friends, family. So... One of the biggest reasons I left YouTube was because my dad passed away. And I stated that I lost motivation. I did. Um, it's not that other people didn't motivate me or whatever. It's basically when I opened the app YouTube, all I could think was my dad. Because my dad was YouTube for me. And people have all their reasons of why they love this app so much. And mine was because of my dad. He was the reason why I wanted to start YouTube. He was the reason I felt motivated to do the videos. And every time I just looked at the app, I would bawl my eyes out because that's all what my dad wanted was to get famous off his channel. And honestly, I could care less if I got famous. I don't care. I'm just here to like share my story and help people out whenever they need it or whatever they want. It's it's the smallest things that are the biggest. And YouTube's a huge app, I know. Millions and millions of videos. But it's just the littlest things matter the most. And what I needed, I just needed a break. I needed a break from everything. I needed a break with life. I needed a break with social media. I needed a break from filming YouTube videos. It was just... It was just the hardest thing for me to grieve about. And the sad thing part, like, I don't want people to come at me and comment or, like, message me or if you have my contact information. I don't want people to be like, are you suicidal? Like, what? Like, I don't want people freaking out on me. But when my dad passed away, I became extremely suicidal. I did not want, I didn't want anything to do with life. And basically, that's not a good state of mind to have. And just me not being able to have anybody to go to was hard because the old home I lived in, they, they didn't care. They didn't want me grieving because I, I used to be adopted. Most people know what happened and most of you watching this don't know what happened. And maybe one day I'll say something, maybe I won't. It just, it's a matter of time to heal. And basically, <laughs> um, With my old home, I couldn't grieve about anything. All I ever do would be at work or be at school. I would never be at home. I could only grieve at school or at work because they wouldn't know if I was grieving or not. And you can't help people or be there for people when you're mentally somewhere else. And even today, like with my dad being gone, I still can't watch his videos or listen to them because it still breaks my heart. And of course, if you were in my shoes or if you've lost somebody, you would understand. It's not that easy, especially if that's like the one person you've had for however long that was your best friend, the person that gave you life, that person that motivated you, that person that gave you hope, but most importantly of my dad, he was my dad. 
yeah, I've said he was my hope, my motivation, my best friend. But you can't depend life on an individual. And I depended my life on him. And it broke me to a million pieces. And I already said I wasn't mentally okay. I was pretty suicidal, yeah. Physically, I wasn't okay. I like, with what happens with me, if I have like some type of emotion, I get rashes all over me. Like if it's very excessive, I get really red and really rashy. Or what my body tends to do, it tends to be really heavy to the point I can't move it because that's my body knowing how I'm feeling when I'm neglecting it because I I have a habit of neglecting it. And I wanted this time to understand what I was feeling and understand life a lot more. Um, and I said to myself many times, I would never make a YouTube video again. I would never open the app again. I mean, <laughs> that lasted for eight months until yesterday. And I made a video. I still don't know why I made that video, but now that I think about it, it's just, maybe it's a sign. I don't know what it could have been. I don't know if you guys have religious or like believe in God or whatever, but I think maybe it's just a sign from a spiritual or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, and... You guys may or may not understand how big of a step it is for me to actually get up, open YouTube, watch a video, or even post one. To me, this is a huge step for me because I never thought I'd see the day of me creating another video. Um, another reason why I left is uh, in my old home, um, when my old parents found some of my videos, they weren't, <laughs> they weren't too happy. And I don't blame them. I said a lot of stuff about them and a lot of negativity because I didn't really have anything positive to say about them. And they wanted me to delete my channel and stop posting because they don't like my face out there or I'm exposing them. It's, I wasn't necessarily trying to do that. I was just trying to get my story out there and to help people. And that, and that was, it was pretty hard. And now that I'm in a good home, especially with loving foster parents, it's a, uh, it's gotten a lot better, especially with the grieving and being able to understand like what has happened and why do I feel this way and especially therapy. It has helped a lot and I never thought I'd see the day of me going to therapy and I said that with that YouTube video, but here I am, but it's just a matter of growth. You do. It's not your fault of what you go through. It's not what it's not your fault of how you feel. That's just how you feel. And what matters is how you heal yourself, whether you go find help. As you can see, I'm getting red because, yeah, like I stated, when I get red, excessive emotions. But I mainly left because of my mental health. I wasn't in a good place or home, but Basically, I'm just here to share my story, help people, but more importantly, to say that, to show that I have a voice and to help you guys to realize you have a voice too. Um, the best thing was for me was to go away for a while and get the help that I needed because I knew if I kept neglecting it, it wouldn't be the best thing ever. But uh, I hope you guys um, understand why I left, if I need to clear it up more, because I tend to jump around a lot. Um, but 
I'm going to just say, if you're going through something or anything at all, and you don't feel safe, you don't feel comfortable, get help. You need it. Even if you don't think so, because I thought the same thing till everything happened. But that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, any video ideas, you guys know you guys could go comment down below. But guess what? Forget y'all!